by order of the Emperor. You will be the first team to be in command of our time machine. Preparations on the machine are now completed. The city administrator is ready. Squad will now enter the briefing chamber. reporting for mission briefing. As this is your first objective following birth, you will now be briefed on the functions of our rank. This information will only be given once and you would do well to record it. The standard drone, often divided into sections, squads or groups depending on the task at hand, the most common type. Variants are seen with a variety of appendages. A rarely seen subtype of drone. They are the technician class and are more technologically advanced. As all drones are now given the advanced technical features, this type is gradually being phased out. This type is of an older design, and in our culture represent the elders of our society, the scientists. They have limited capabilities in combat, but have excellent minds. A higher ranking drone. There are relatively few of them around, and they usually serve as aides to the two chief units at Scaro base. As with the two chiefs, they feature adapted casings with solar dishes for easier travelling outside of our buildings, though this technology is also being phased out in favour of slats. These units are only found inside our buildings and around the city. They command all subordinates. Most of them remain inside and around the Emperor's chamber. Now we move on to the lead and specialist Daleks, of which there are very few or are limited to one individual. This elite guard remains outside the entrance to the Emperor's chamber. This is the lead technician. It is in charge of the highest technical operations. This is the city administrator, a role currently occupied by this unit. This is the chief scientist or elder. It is in charge of all core research inside the Dalek city. It is one of the Supreme Council. The Red Dalek is the highest authority relating to time travel and time machine usage. It manages all of our time travel operations and will occasionally make journeys itself as the machine's pilot. The Supreme works in conjunction with the Red Dalek and manages all Dalek operations from the city. It will occasionally leave on large or critical campaigns. All Daleks must obey the will of the Supreme, with two exceptions. The Black Dalek, or Chief Controller, manages operations held outside of the city in our main outpost, known as Scaro Base, which rests across the jungle. It may report directly to the Emperor, thus going directly above the Supreme, along with the secondary chief Dalek. This distinctive unit is the second in command at Scaro base, and manages operations out of the city with the Black Dalek. Both of the chiefs manage several out-of-city operations from the base, and must rely on each other for conclusive decision-making. This rarely seen unit manages control and distribution of drone Daleks for combat. It is in charge of the lead combat squad of elite drones. This Dalek is the chief space squadron authority and is in charge of our largest space fleet at present. It is scarcely seen on Scaro and answers to the Supreme Dalek or the Emperor. This is the Supreme Commander of our Empire. He remains in his throne chamber at all times, but can broadcast to any location across the city. His commands are relayed to your section leaders. 
with that we conclude our information as mentioned before you would do well to log that now we are finished you may leave for your nutrition session